Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad. This is our first impressions video of the Fitbit Lux. I've been using this fitness tracker for 72 hours and there's a lot to cover. Uh, first, I did want to talk about expectations. Um, this is a $149 slim profile tracking device. So if you're looking for the latest and greatest, this device isn't for you. However, if you're looking for a slim fitness tracker that has fitness tracking capabilities such as steps, sleep, pace and heart rate then definitely check this out first let's talk about build quality the build quality on this device is solid this is platinum stainless steel and it looks great it's solid it's light for me it's a little bit too light almost i forget that i have it on sometimes until i get a notification and it vibrates the fitbit lux doesn't come with these bands this is the woven band that i'm using it does come with the silicone band which i think is okay it's just the normal silicone band. I would definitely recommend the woven band, which costs a little bit more. We've done a separate video on this, so if you want to check out our review on that, I'll put a link in the description below. The display here is bright and vibrant. This is only on normal brightness. It can even get a little bit more brighter. The one issue I do have with it is it's really small. So the actual display is the colored part from the top here to the bottom. It looks like Fitbit took the Inspire line and upgraded the display and the framing of the gadget. I wish that the actual display was as big as the Galaxy Fit 2 and I think that would be a perfect fitness tracker size for me. Now the touch screen on the display is responsive. Oh, before I forget, even though this is our day 4 video, I've been using this watch for almost 72 hours and our battery life is at 59%. It looks like I'm going to get the advertised 5 day battery life for this watch. The touch screen is responsive, however there's one mode that's quite infuriating and that's the water lock mode. To turn on the water lock mode, you have to tap it first and it says to lock, firmly double tap. No matter how many times I double tap, sometimes it just doesn't turn on. So what I normally do is just tapping it until it finally triggers. And now the more complicated thing is unlocking it. To unlock it, you have to reverse the process and double tap it as well. However, it doesn't, I'm not sure what firmly means and where exactly on the display. So I don't know if I would recommend using the lock mode. Other than that, it's easy to navigate your display. You can just double tap anywhere to go back to your home screen, which is your watch face. Take a quick look at the notifications. Once you get a notification, you can tap it to expand the message. However, your only option is to clear the message. No responding from your fitness tracker. Even with the Galaxy Fit 2, you can reply with quick responses, but that's not available on the Fitbit. Here we are on the Fitbit app, and I did want to show you some of the tracking that it does. This is last night's sleep tracking, got 85 points. Here you can show sleep stages, an estimated oxygen variation, breaks down the time spent in each stage of sleep. And if we expand this here, it gives us just a more colorful chart. So that would be your sleep tracking. For steps, it shows my current step count, zone minutes, calories, and distance. You can also edit this homepage as well on the Fitbit app. So for example, we can delete stress management if we don't need that, health metrics, mindfulness and here you can also add different stats and tap done so the fitbit lux is definitely a different value proposition because you have something like the samsung galaxy fit 2 which retails for 60 dollars granted it doesn't have the platinum steel build it doesn't have an amoled display but it does pretty much the same thing it tracks your sleep so if you prefer a fitbit definitely stay with fitbit However, there are different options out there. I'm not sure I can justify $149 for a fitness tracker that's pretty much the same as the Inspire 2, which is half the price. Is the color screen and this build quality enough for $149? Alright, that's our first impressions video of the Fitbit Lux. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.